Have you learned how to play Siamese Mahjong yet? I'm going to do a solitaire game for American style. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell when you do, so you don't miss anything. Let me show you this game of solitaire so you can get an idea of what it's like to play Siamese Mahjong for American style. I have all my tiles out and I built them into walls. This will allow me to make decisions strategically instead of just flying by the seat of my pants or leggings as it were which are pants leggings are pants so for player one we're going to deal out 27 tiles for player two they'll get 26. So let's start with player one and see what we can do. Look at all those jokers. Let me turn this a little bit. Okay, I'm filming during the day, so there may be a little bit of glare. Oh, okay, that's better. I hope you can see this okay. It'd be nice if we could play a quint here. We have no dragons though. If we played, let's see. We do have a lot of news. We could play news with sixes. News with sixes. I kind of want to play a quint with all those jokers. What about east and west, east and west with fours okay oh east and west with fours or east and west with sixes we have all the sixes we have eights too okay So, maybe we could play a two, four, six, eight pair hand. Two, four, six, eight pair hand and a quint. Or, or we could just play all wins and a double mahjong with a pair hand. Let's try that. Sometimes all those jokers and you can't get to a quint. We have no, if we had dragons, we could play a quint, but we don't have any dragons. So let's try news. That would be the first hand under wins and dragons and then a two, four, six, eight pair hand. Let's hold this. And we can get rid of these tiles here. Okay, I think that's a good plan. Okay, let's see what player two has. No jokers at all, look at that.
Okay, now we have a pair of green dragons, two, six, four, eight. Another two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. So if we play a two, four, six, eight hand here, two, four, six, eight. We may not be able to use that joker. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, we might as well hold these. Maybe they could play the two, four, six, eight pair hand. And then up here, we could play five, seven, seven, nine with dragons. Let's just hold all the five, seven, nines. Five, seven, nine with dragons. Okay, so that gives us, wow, six discards, six discards each. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Let's start by discarding a one bam. And we'll draw for player two. Seven bam. Look at that. <clears throat> okay. Let's rethink. One, three, five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine, big odds. Let's get rid of the one bam. And then we can draw for player two or player one. That was player two. So if you're wondering what hand am I playing, I'm not picking a hand. Anytime you have discards, you don't have to pick a hand. We're just gathering. We're gathering big odds here. Here we're going to gather two, four, six, eight. So these are category level. We're going to gather wins. And here we're going to gather two, four, six, eight. This four we might be able to use. So two, four, six, eight wins, two, four, six, eight big odds. That's the plan. Don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. Three crack. That's not a good keeper. But maybe the news with threes will come in. Let's discard this one crack and draw for player two. Five crack. There's a good multiple. We still don't have to pick a hand. Let's get rid of the north. North. Now this player here, if they're playing all wins, they could maybe declare that. But if we want to play a double Mahjong, I wonder if you, when you play double Mahjong, is that hand supposed to be completely concealed? Or is it just declaring a win? I think it's declaring a win. Let's let's Kong that north. We just cannot make a quint work. So let's Kong the north. We'll get rid of these threes. Let's discard the nine crack. Okay, we're playing news. And then maybe we can use this joker down here. We can Kong this. Kong this and this will be ready to win. We might even just hold on to this and declare a double Mahjong when this hand is ready. Let's draw for player two. One bam. Okay, one bam. I was thinking maybe they could even play the odd pair hand. The odd pair hand, which is the third from the bottom under singles and pairs. Let's discard the red dragon. And then let's draw for player one. Three bam. That is a discard. Let's get rid of the five dot. And we can draw for player two. Two crack. Okay, that is an even, but we really are in two suits at the moment. Five, seven, seven, nine dragons might work. That's building around the multiples. 
five seven seven nine dragons that's the third hand down on the right for big odds and then down here a two four six eight okay let's see here let's go ahead and discard the two crack and keep gathering but we might be able to do something consecutive instead of five seven nine okay let's just keep going flower that's a keeper let's discard the three dot and let's draw for north or player two okay that's a good keeper tile for them so now i'm thinking we should probably take this down to one suit because we don't have the right tiles to go with the two suit option a lot of the two suit options are two four six eight and we have no fours over there we only have these tiles here with a complete two four six eight option and maybe the first hand with four flowers although we're really lacking flowers we could play the concealed hand and use this joker up here if we want to leverage maybe the six bam maybe we could play five six seven no let's see four five six seven i would hold these so we're in between five seven nine big odds we really probably can get rid of the ones i think i'd rather hold the eight and hope for maybe um something consecutive maybe five six seven eight let's go ahead and get rid of the one bam there's already two out anyway let's draw for player one one crack that's a discard player two three bam that's not going to be helpful let's discard the one dot let's draw for player one eight crack so now two four two two six eight maybe they should consider playing that first hand two one more flower and their hand could be set either way we can get rid of a three bam and draw for player two four dot that's a keeper i think we should have them play the concealed hand because now we have a pung in the four dot you only need a pair for the first one let's discard this three bam still don't have to pick a hand because we have two discards let's draw for player one nine dot that can be discarded let's just throw it and draw for player two two crack that's a good discard player one seven bam that's a discard player two one crack discard player one six crack that's a keeper so now we could even use this joker to help with the flowers four flowers we need a two crack pair of fours pung of sixes kong of eights so we need a six and an eight let's go ahead and discard the three crack there's already two two cracks out so this is going to be a tight squeeze let's draw for player two three bam that's a discard player one flower okay so let's discard the six dot and draw for player two. Oh wait 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 if we're going to play oh yeah we're going to play the concealed version because of this pung we'd have to throw away a four dot let's draw six crack that's a discard 
and here we can pung. So I'm going to put it back here in the back. So there's a pung for them. Let's discard a two dot and draw for player two. Three bam again. Let's draw for player one. Five crack. Discard. If they're playing five, seven, seven, nine dragon, the five, seven here would be pairs. So we are set on that. I would not claim that. There's way too many options going on. I think we should draw. Seven crack. Five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine. I'm thinking five, seven, nine is probably going to be the best. So I think I would hold all the five, seven, nine, hold all the big odds until a pattern emerges. Let's discard the eight bam and draw for player two, one, player one, three dot. That's a discard. Player two, three crack. Let's see now. Oh, there's already three one cracks out. I was thinking they could play the odd pair hand but three one cracks are out, so this is not gonna be helpful. So we'll throw that and draw for player one. <gasps> West. Okay, so let's keep going. Four dot. And we can draw for player two. White dragon, that's, that's a discard. Let's draw for player one. Eight dot, we can discard that. Drawing for player two, west, discard, west. Okay, now, I think we can Kong that, and they're ready, they're, this is a, we can just say Kong, but not declare Mahjong. So there's a Kong, but this hand is a Mahjong, but we're not gonna declare it. Let's discard the six bam and try for a double mahjong. So we need one more tile to get ready for a double mahjong. So let's draw for player two. Six dot, that's a keeper. Two bam, discard. Drawing for player one. Eight crack, that's a keeper. We're going to discard the eight bam and they're ready on a double mahjong because this hand is ready but not declared this hand is ready now on on a two crack we need a two crack S because we have a, a pung of sixes back here so let's draw for player one five bam five seven five seven okay five seven five seven nine Five seven five seven nine. Let's get rid of the two bam and draw for player one. Oh, two bam, wrong suit. Drawing for player two. Five bam. Okay, so these can be the pairs. Five seven five seven nine. This would be the. Uh, the second hand from the bottom under under odds so let's get rid of the six bam and draw for player one seven crack that's a discard seven crack that's their pair tile here we're not going to pung that the bams here can be the pungs so let's draw for them Red Dragon, we don't need that, but let's get rid of the six bam. And we can draw for player two, one, player one. This is player one. Okay, nine bam, that's a discard. And this player, not ready. They don't need it, they need nine dots. One dot is a discard. Let's draw for player one, two dot. That is a discard. Let's draw for player two. <gasps> two crack, that's a discard. So there are two out, let's discard it. Two crack, double mahjong. 
So this player says double mahjong. All those jokers really helped. There, double mahjong. News and two, four, six, eight. First two, four, six, eight hand. Now they would get a double payment for each. So they would get 100 points because both of these are 25 point hands. This one is almost pure. If we had one more flower, this one could have been pure. So yeah, 100 points from this player to this player. Plus 20 points, I believe also. Anybody throwing into two ma a double mahjong pays a 20 point penalty in addition to double value, I believe. There's a link below the video to the instructions and scoring. Wow, those jokers really help out. And I wished I could have played a quint, but sometimes they just don't work. Sometimes if you just go for the quickest win, especially for Siamese Mahjong, a double Mahjong, and get your value there, I think it's worth it. They just got 120 points. I mean, you could equate that to a, qu a single quint, let's say, or a single quint and maybe a little less than a single quint with a regular hand. So I think the sacrifice was worth it. Let me know if you would have pushed for a quint with all those jokers. I think I made the right choice though. Double Mahjong. If you haven't tried Siamese Mahjong yet, find a friend, get out your set, and give it a try. Come back and let me know how it goes for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new style, learn a new strategy, or maybe pick up an insight of the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Siamese Mahjong using American style rules, may all your picks be keepers.